come into uh, Lake Charles in the Cowboy Stadium, uh, number six ranked team in the country. Um, very difficult task for, for anybody, and particularly us coming off of a not so solid performance last week. So all the credit goes to our players, uh, our coaching staff, administration, all the support we had down here tonight. Uh, it's a difficult environment against a very, very good football team, very well coached. And, uh, you know, it's what we, it, it could be a statement win. Uh, it's what we do with it moving forward. Uh, obviously, we still got a lot of football left to play, but, you know, we go into the middle of November and, you know, we're very relevant and uh, got an awful lot to play for. At times, you know, we've, we've had a few leaks on defense throughout the year and you want to be balanced and, and, and run the ball and play action and throw it when you need to and that kind of thing. And, and we've obviously been able to survive doing that. Um, but tonight, you know, give McNeese credit. They came in with the number one rush defense, I think, and maybe total defense in the conference. And, and we had to, uh, you know, we had to push the ball down the field. And I thought the tight ends, uh, all the receivers, the backs uh, did an excellent job. You know, and obviously Zach, you know, did a tremendous job of extending plays and making some some really nice throws down the field. And the receivers caught them. And uh, offensive line did a great job of protection. Um, but you know, obviously. You know, you still want to be balanced, but uh, you know we had to go to the air a little bit more tonight, and I thought we responded in a positive way. It says we've, we, we've accomplished some things, but we have an awful lot to play for. And uh, you know, right now we've secured a winning season, which was our primary first goal. Uh, you know, obviously we've got Abilene Christian at home next week. We'll enjoy this one for 24 hours. But we have Abilene coming in, who has been a who has been a dragon slayer this year. They beat an FBS school, should have beat another. Uh, they, they've played. Uh, you know, they played very well this year, so uh, they took down a really good UCA team uh, by a lot of points and just caused a lot of turnovers. So our focus is on, on Abilene Christian when we leave Cowboy Stadium here tonight. Uh, but, you know, we've secured the winning season. Uh, we're still in the mix for the conference championship. And then obviously now, you know, I think that, uh, you know, we've positioned ourselves for some other things, uh, you know, postseason wise. So, again, it's how we handle success. I thought we did an excellent job of responding this week in our preparation to adversity because we did not play our best last week down at NRG. Um, and, and so now how do we handle success? And, and that, that, that'll that go to our maturity level and, and making sure that as coaches we keep them on point and, uh, and demand the things that you know we need to demand to, uh, uh, to prepare for the last two home games. But we're really excited about coming home. And I think this is a three game road winning streak now. And um, so we, we, we've, We've got a lot. We've positioned ourselves to play for a lot here starting next week against a really fine Abilene Christian team.